Avik attended today's hearing. What do you think? Are they actually going to get this one fixed? You know, the thing that was driven home by the uh, the hearing today was the scope and depth and breadth of the problems. It's the website. It's the back end where it interacts with insurance companies. It's the back end where it interacts with the IRS. It's the security and privacy issues. It's a whole range of it stuff. Goes on and on. I mean, you, you, you have to think to yourself, how could this have happened, Phil? Yeah. I mean, I, I think did they that, not run through the proper tests, et cetera? How did it happen in the first place? Name the things that could have gone wrong. Name the things that they did wrong leading up to this, and, and, and they happened. You know, the, the administration, I think there's still people over there shaking their heads. How did we actually get to this point? How are we not testing this in a timely manner? How did we not put it all together before we actually tried to roll it out? Now, also, Trish, another thing we saw today, huge issue, these cancellation notices people are getting. The president's nine words, if you yeah. like your plan, you can keep your plan, totally coming back to haunt them. The administration has some counter to this, but every time a constituent brings up a letter that says my plan was canceled, mm -hmm. that is a huge piece of ammunition for so Republicans. So who's going to take the fall ultimately, politically? I mean, the president certainly doesn't want to. Is it going to be Kathleen Sebelius? Does no. she not really have a choice? No, no you don't he, think so? He's not going to fire Sebelius because the thing is, if he fires Sebelius, he has to appoint someone else or nominate someone else to be HHS secretary. And, and nobody that, wants the job? Getting that person <laughs> to the Senate is going to be pretty hard in this uh -huh. current environment, so I think she's safe, which is why she's taking the fall. She knows she's safe. Are you hearing the same thing. Yeah, I, I think that they are very aware. There's no talk at the White House right now of firing Kathleen Sebelius, and one of the primary reasons is how do you get somebody else through? How do you get somebody confirmed? She's there right now. The key date I think they're all looking to right now, November 30th, when they've all kind of staked the entire mm -hmm. website on being mostly functional. If it's not done by then, someone's got to go. Who it will be, I, I, nobody has any idea. Did they just, Avik, uh, roll this one out too soon? You and I have talked about this before, and I know you were critical of how quickly they were rushing this out. Um, they were politically motivated to do so. Uh, they wanted to get it out there, but perhaps they didn't do all the checks and balances. We had warnings from CMS from the administration eight, nine months ago that things weren't ready. And we learned today, and this has confirmed existing reports, that as recently as a week before launch, they hadn't done an end to end test of the system. They hadn't verified the security controls. Uh, you know, I mean, how do you roll out a, a launch of a system that you haven't tested a week before that's supposed to affect 30 million people? You know, it's is, crazy. is this an example of the government just sort of taking on perhaps more than it can chew in this case? Um, this may Maybe should have been left more to private industry? I think this is more of an example of an administration that was leaving too much to be outsourced. And this is not knocking the, the, the companies, but they let too many individual pieces be worked on without bringing it all together and actually getting a better sense of how and it was going to work when it rolled out. This, that's under fire was actually a Canadian company uh, and had not done so well in Canada previously, correct? That's correct. It's CGI Federal. And look, hundreds of millions of dollars being spent on this website. The idea that, as, as Evick was saying, that this wouldn't have all been put together, tested, rolled out, beta tested, gone through everything before the October 1st deadline, before the start date, it's unbelievable to people. But look, it underlines the political point here. They couldn't delay it, right? They couldn't push, push it to later than October 1st, no. and they still have the 7 million person enrollee target for March. That's what they need to hit. They had to get this out, even though it wasn't All even right, close so to ready. All right, so here's the real issue, right? If, if people get so frustrated with this process and they don't sign up for it, you're going to be left potentially with only sort of the, the least healthy uh, members of your population that really are going to be committed and spend that time on the website and work through all this red tape to be signed up and you're going to be left without that supportive population. Isn't that the real fear, Avik? That is the fear and, and that's why they should have delayed it. There was no law. There was nothing in the statute requiring them to launch on October 1st. They could have pushed back the launch. They didn't want to do that because they thought that would be so humiliating. And so the politics drove the fact... Is this more humiliating? <laughs> You'll have to ask them. I mean, I think it's a no-win situation, but I think if you care about the quality of the insurance market for people who actually need to buy affordable insurance, better to have delayed the system and let people continue their coverage under the existing system. Frustrating for those individuals that are trying to sign up right now. It has to be. I think this is, everybody's been looking at this. This has been the cornerstone of their domestic policy. Everybody knows about it. You've got millions of people that have tried to get on, 17 million unique users as of last week, and you're trying to get on and all you're getting is error messages. When Republicans compare this to the DMV, that's when you know things are bad. Nobody wants to go to the DMV, and that's, that's what this point. experience has become, and that's a problem. Wow. Yeah, no, you don't want you don't want to be at the DMV. Yeah, Thank I can still get my driver's license at the DMV, you know. I can't, I can't <laughs> and, get, but you can't get health insurance. insurance. Yeah. Right. No, and it's important for a lot of people, and, uh, and they're nervous about it right yeah. now, so yeah. they got to get it fixed.